A Maryland man is accused of shooting and killing his wife at a shopping center in Frederick County. This all happened last night. WMAR 2 News' Janae Wright has more information on the case. Tanisha Butler, born on June 18, 1990, was known for her infectious spirit and unwavering kindness. An employee at the giant food store on Sugarloaf Parkway, she was admired not just for her work ethic, but also for her radiant personality that uplifted everyone around her. Tanisha was more than just an employee, she was a cherished mother of two, the youngest of whom had just celebrated their first birthday in November. Her entrepreneurial spirit shone through her business, Chanel Elgant Affairs, where she excelled as an event planner, offering decor and party rental services that consistently earned five-star ratings. Tragedy struck on a fateful day when Frederick Owusu Saki, her estranged husband, took her life. The 33-year-old Tanisha was fatally shot in the parking lot of her workplace in Urbana. The day prior, she had courageously filed for absolute divorce from Frederick, seeking to end a chapter marked by fear and threat. Frederick, found wandering along Medi 32, was arrested the following day and charged with Tenish's murder, having shot her multiple times. A handgun, ominously resting in his Ford F-150, hinted at the premeditated nature of this heinous act. In a harrowing revelation, it was found that Tenisha had taken measures to protect herself and her child from Frederick. She had obtained a protective order effective until November due to his threats and stalking behavior since January 2023. This order mandated Frederick to surrender any firearms he possessed. However, the Frederick County Sheriff's Office, despite their efforts, found no firearms registered under his name, and Frederick claimed to have none, rendering the law enforcement efforts fruitless. A Maryland man is accused of shooting and killing his wife at a shopping center in Frederick County. This all happened last night. WMAR 2 News' Janae Wright has more information on the case. Domestic violence in relationships isn't always physical. It can be verbal or even emotional abuse. But in some cases, when the victim of the abuse tries to leave the relationship, it can become physical or even deadly. We know that the most dangerous time in an abusive relationship is when the victim wants to end it. When the victim is trying to separate from the abusive partner is where we see the most fatalities. The Frederick County Sheriff's Office told WMAR Tanisha Butler was divorcing her husband, though the office did not go into details about why. Todd Weevil with the Sheriff's Office says there's a history of protective orders Butler issued against her husband, 33-year-old Frederick Owusu Saiki. Our initial investigation found that the suspect was was the estranged husband of the victim and that they were going through a divorce. Additionally, there was history of protective orders and stalking by um, the actual su suspect um, to the victim. Police arrested Psyche late Saturday night in connection to the shooting death of his estranged wife. She was shot and killed while leaving work. It was outside of this giant food store where deputies found the body of 33-year-old Tanisha Butler. Uh, apparently, they had uh, some of the folks 
including the victim had just got off work and they were walking outside when all of this transpired. Thanks to witness statements, they were able to identify the alleged shooter, Butler's husband, and the car he was driving. Later Saturday night, police found Psyche and arrested him. When deputies searched his car, they found a handgun in the front seat and a shotgun in the back. According to federal law, Psyche is not allowed to possess any firearms. Abusive partners do lose their guns. Um, they shouldn't have access to any firearms, that they should be, have to surrender firearms. They can have protections, like one of the parties needs to leave the house. Um, we can protect workplaces, places where children are going to school or childcare. There's a different, um, there's even financial relief that can be available, but ultimately it's up to the judge. The sheriff's office did not confirm if either of the guns found in Psyche's car was the murder weapon. Psyche is now being held in the Frederick County Adult Detention Center. Janae Wright, WMAR 2 News. The complexities of enforcing the protective order were evident. Major Jeff Eiler of the Sheriff's Office outlined the challenges they faced in ensuring compliance, especially when there was no record or admission of firearm possession by Frederick. In the days leading to the tragic event, Tenisha had been seeking a limited divorce since June 2023, living separately since November 2022. A relative, overwhelmed by grief, chose not to comment on the devastating incident. The details of the confrontation after Tenisha's work shift paint a chilling picture. According to a co-worker, Tenisha immediately recognized the approaching white pickup truck as belonging to Frederick. Her instinctive reaction was to alert her co-worker to call 911. The moments that followed were a blur of gunfire, panic, and ultimately, a tragic end to Tenish's life as Frederick mercilessly shot her multiple times before fleeing the scene. The aftermath of the shooting revealed the premeditated nature of Frederick's actions. A bartender at a nearby restaurant recalled his strange behavior that night, indicative of his ominous intentions. Giant Food, in their statement, expressed deep sorrow and extended their cooperation with the police investigation, emphasizing their support for Tanisha's family in this challenging time. The loss of Tanisha resonates beyond the confines of her immediate family and workplace. It is a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the devastating impact of domestic violence. Her story, marked by ambition, motherhood, and an untimely death, leaves a void in the hearts of those who knew her and a community grappling with the senselessness of her loss. We would like to send our condolences to the family and friends of Tanisha. Take care and stay safe.